What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading, caps through sag, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. This is an oracle card reading for the sign of caps. This can resonate if you have caps in any aspects of your charts, sun, moon, rising, Venus, or moon, 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 Jupiter charts. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. We're at 11,675 subscribers, I think, right now. So thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. It helps support a single mama and two kids. So um, I truly, uh, a, an income stream of a single mama of two kids. So I truly, truly appreciate all the love and support. I just want to let you know. Um, as I decided to do Oracle readings for the signs. Uh, for um, It's going to be for a, uh, April of 2022 because we have three, six, nine. Um, 11 days left in um, March, uh, but remember time and energy is fluid. So it's March, 2022, even though it's for April of 2022, time and energy is fluid. So for some of you guys, it could resonate soon in March. For some, it could be in April. Um, so just keep that in mind, okay? I just want to make everybody very abundantly clear of that, okay? Because there's millions and billions of people in the world um, and tons of Capricorns. So for some of you guys, it could resonate still in March. For some, it could be in April. Um, for some, it could be later on. So you, you know, you only plug the messages in that resonate. Um, okay. I just want to let you know. Okay. So as I was meditating on your energy Capricorn for your, uh, your Oracle card reading, I did get a channel message. It's very interesting. I got one. So this is at least for one of you guys in the universe. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Or if it's not for you, it could be for somebody you're connected to, a Capricorn you're connected to. Okay. So the channel I received was a feminine tarot, uh, I'm sorry, a feminine Capricorn has um, started a tarot card reading channel, um, but they're not telling their primary tarot card reader that they have. However, they're not experiencing um, much success on it, and it's about to get worse um but then i heard about 30 seconds after that channeling i heard it's because they're still in extremely low vibration so um you plug it in how it resonates if it's not you it can be somebody you're connected to okay i mean whoever this is for that is what i heard so that's at least for one of you guys in the universe it's a capricorn them tarot card reader so they they at least have vaginal parts for some of these caps tarot card readers they could have vaginal parts and um, maybe masculine parts as well, but definitely a JJ for sure. So um, you plug it in, how it resonates. But it sounds like they watched tarot card readings previously to um, um, doing starting their own channel, uh, which I know a lot of my subscribers, um, they were originally, they watched me and now they're tarot card readers. And a lot of them are very, very, very successful. And I love you guys so much. And shout out to all my successful, lovely tarot card readers. You put a lot of hard work and time and perseverance and um, dedication into it, just like I have. And I support anybody that puts the time and hard work and energy and true intentions um, into the universe. Absolutely. Um, but whoever this is, I heard they're still in very extremely low vibration. So, and I heard they did not tell their primary tarot card reader that they're starting the channel. So there's a reason they didn't tell their primary tarot card reader they didn't start, uh, that they started the channel. So they did it behind the scenes and didn't tell their primary tarot card reader whether the primary tarot card reader is a masculine or a feminine. But I heard um, they haven't gained much success, but it's about to basically, it sounds like their business is about to tank. So it's about to, it sounds like go under or daggum near go under. Um, it doesn't sound like it was very successful to begin with, but whoever it is, it's a feminine tarot card reader. If it's not you, it's somebody you're connected to. Apparently that is important in the universe in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I don't, uh, whoever that's for, okay? Okay, so I'm going to use um, Animal Spirit deck, some tea leaves, and then I'm going to use... Um, I, think, uh, I feel guided to use these. Oh, I want to. I want to say too, um, um, which is intuition. I want to say real quick. Shout out to um, her initials are S E J. 
She um, got me the, this deck. She got me this deck. And she got me this deck. So hopefully you watch this reading. And today I received this one from the same lady. So thank you much, uh, so much, initials SEJ, ma'am. Um, I mentioned on here that my kippers were like, old so i'm assuming that's why she did it so thank and she left a lovely message on the um um on the receipt so thank you so much ma'am scj you know who you are okay so here we go this is for the sign of capricorn this could resonate if you have perhaps any aspect to your charts sun moon rising venus worth no men haven jupiter charts um it's very important to only Plug the messages in that resonate with you and leave the rest. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Capricorn. I'm going to speak while I'm shuffling. Um, whoa. Um, my own are still asleep, so that's why I'm doing some oracle card readings <laughs> before, um, before they get up. So, Okay, so Fox Spirit, think... Think on your feet. Dog spirit, be loyal to what you love. Get some tea leaves. Spirit messages you have for a sign of Capricorn. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I just heard I'm in love with a stripper is what I just heard. Wh what? I just heard I'm in love with a stripper. Um, now, I know that's a song, but I didn't hear it like the song. I heard it like I'm in love with a stripper, like informative, like I'm in love with a stripper. Not like the song, I'm in love with a stripper. Uh, for some, maybe you like that song, I'm in love with a stripper. But for who, at least one person, um, the, 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 I feel it's they really are in love with the stripper, possibly. Spirit messages you have a sign of Capricorn. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you plug it in, however in the world that resonates. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um, let me get one more. Spirit messages you have a sign. Oh, whoa! I think one of you guys is so emotional over a situation. Did you just see that? Whoa! Oh my gosh. Everything that happens in a reading happens for a reason. I think one of you guys is so emotional over situation. Um, wow. Either you're falling apart and emotional over situation, either happy or like crying emotional, um, or somebody you're connected to. Wow. Whoa. Holy crap. That, I mean, I've had them happen like that before, but not like this. I mean, I think somebody's extremely emotional over a situation. It could be you or somebody you're connected to. Maybe it's the person that's in love with the stripper, whether it's you or somebody you're connected to. Or maybe the person that their business is about to tank down, tarot card reader, um, Capricorn, that's very, very, very low vibrational. And for anybody who doesn't know, because I have a lot of newbies to my channel, vibrations is how you... Um, how you conduct yourself in the universe, how you treat people, uh, what you do. Um, so whatever they do, I think is very low vibrational or they treat people very low, low vibrationally. Um, or maybe they're doing the tarot card reading channel for strictly for money. Um, spiritual realm knows all. So, you know, however that res resonates. Spirit messages, you have some caps. Let's try this again. Holy crap. I'm going to try not to make these too long, but I think y'all's is going to be longer because of that. Wow. Spare messages you have signed. Oh my gosh, it happened again. Double confirmation in the ring. You guys. Oh my gosh. Maybe that tarot card reader watches my channel. Or, or for some of you guys, it could be you're dealing with somebody with addictions. Because that could represent excess in one's life. Any kind of addictions. Gambling, um, sex addictions, drug addictions, or alcoholism. Or it could represent being overly emotional. 
um, in the situation. However, that resonates. Wow, man. A very high vibrational feminine Capricorn, older feminine Capricorn, is about to stand up to a huge situation of the past. Have lots of respect for a fire sign feminine. Lots. Wow. Well, that's a good one. So you plug it in how it resonates. Older Capricorn energy. 40 and above. Well, I'm presuming 40 and above because older in the Tarot is deemed as usually 40 and above. So, um, but y'all heard you're very high vibrational. So you vibe high. Just saying, just saying. I love it. Uh, but I heard you're about to stand up to uh, for Fire Sign Feminine in a huge way. You have lots of respect for her. Um, so however you're about to stand up for her, only you know your story, not anybody else. Older Capricorn Feminine Energy, okay? Oh my gosh. It did it again, but not as bad. Ooh, triple confirmation. So you plug it in how it resonates, older Capricorn Feminine. I feel you're 40 or above. Um, however that resonates, okay? Okay, I'm like, wow, that, ooh. Okay, spear, jug, we'll pull one of these. Spear message, okay. Okay, I heard take it, and I had bottom of the deck. Okay, so. Number 27 or 19 can be very significant numbers in one's life. 27 or 19, it could be possible ages of years, somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible date birth number, possible green card number, possible social security card number, possible jersey number, 27 or 19. Fox spirit. Also, you could be dealing with the Aries Leo Sag, which I know the high vibrational older Capricorn femme is. Um, she is um, about to stand up for a fire sign femme that she highly respects. So, other you guys might be dealing with a fire sign as well, masculine or femme, because this is um, fox spirit is fire sign energy. Uh, if you are dealing with fire sign, they could have Aries, Leo, or Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, Hammer, Jupiter, charts, if you are. And then, you might be dealing with earth sign as well, because dog spirit is earth sign energy. If you are, um, you could be dealing with the, uh, another tour, uh, earth sign, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, ah, I can't speak. Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in hand with Jupiter charge. You plug it in, how it resonates. Fox spirit, think on your feet. Things are about to start happening, happening very, very fast for many Capricorns very soon. Some in a positive way, some in a negative way. I travel... Travel business is about to tank into the ground in a huge way. Some a Capricorn, some someone connected to a Capricorn. It's about to shock you. And someone's about to go on a vacation soon. Many things will shock you on this vacation. You really need to make smart decisions. Many twists and turns. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. So if this resonates for you, um, you got to think on your feet energy. Somebody's about to go on vacation. So if this resonates for you, you're about to go on vacation in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I heard there's going to be many twists and turns in the vacation and many shocking, basically it sounds like shocking series of chain events. You have to think on your feet and basically make quick, logical decisions. It sounds like um, things that it's going to happen quickly, but you need to make rational, logical decisions um, for yourself or others. Um, hopefully so you don't, you know, go off on the wrong path or something crazy happen or create a tower or something like that is what I'm presuming. So whoever that's for, whoever's about to go on vacation. Um, it sounds like you might be tempted. I didn't, did not hear you are going to be tempted, but I think one of you guys is going to be tempted in some shape, form, or fashion, maybe with a stripper um, for some, because somebody's in love with the stripper, apparently. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, that's for the person about to go on vacation, however that resonates in your life. And another one of you guys, I heard a Capricorn that uh, it sounds like they own or co-own or has investments in a travel um travel business in some shape form or fashion i heard that's about to take them to the ground um 
and then for a CAPS, and then someone connected to a CAPS owns, owns a travel business, and that's about to tank into the ground too. So think on your feet energy there, I'm thinking is recouping from the losses of the travel business and um, figuring out like a plan B. Uh, plan B is what I'm thinking here uh, for that, whether it's somebody connected to the CAPS or a CAPS, how that resonates. And also the thing on your feet also, I feel could go with the older Capricorn Femme energy that's about to help out this Aries Leo Sagittarius energy uh, Femme that they highly respect. Thinking on their feet, think quick about um, uh, maybe something happens, maybe, um, and they need to think quickly about um, what they're going to say, what they're going to do, the actions they're going to take and display, and how they're going to help this fire sign fan that they very highly respect, this Aries Leo Sag fan, possibly. You plug it in how it resonates. Be loyal to what you love. Loyalty is about to come into play in a huge way for many Capricorns. About to learn who's real and who's not for some. For some, you know who's real and who's not. And you're about to make it very well known. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow, that's a, that's a good one though. So if this resonates for you, cats, um, some you're about to learn who's real and who's not. So I'm thinking like in your friend circle or your work dynamic or your neighborhood or your family or something. Somehow in your 3D life, you're about to learn who's real and who's not. Basically, who's fake and who's not uh, for some. But for some, you already know who's real and who's not. So you already have determined the fake from the not. You're highly intuitive over here in category two. Um, category one, I feel that intuition hasn't come yet or it's come or it's about to come or it's coming. Um, category two is already come. Um, I'm serious. Um, how that plugs in. So for some, you're about to learn who's real and who's not. For some, you already know who's real and who's not. For the ones of you that know who's real and who's not, I heard you're about to make this loyalty be made known very um, publicly um, and very, um, and very proudly and very proudly. Okay. So very publicly and very proudly. Um, Loyalty energy strong. Um, and also, too, I want to say, I think this is, um, you know, category two, you're very highly intuitive. You're very mature, I feel. Now, you can be 25 and be very mature or 65 and be very mature, 55 and be very mature. But it's standing up for who who is loyal, who has been there for you, who is real, you know. Um, and that's really beautiful energy. It really, really is. How that resonates. Spear heartache over what you no longer have. A particular Capricorn is very heartbroken over the past. They are about to help amend it. For some, it's getting a particular person financial compensation they should have had in the past. Well, that's beautiful, Capricorn, if this resonates for you. But you're a very high vibrational individual if this resonates for you. Um, whoever you are, it could be masculine or femme. Um, but I heard um, you're heartbroken over a situation of the past, basically. I heard you're about to get um, someone financial compensation they should have had in the past. So someone connected to you, and I think that goes with the loyal energy as well. Someone connected to you um, should have received some kind of financial compensation in some shape, form, or fashion in the past, but they didn't. Somehow something happened to where they didn't. Um, it could have been evil magician energy, possibly, um, that spun it around and made it go a different way with like verbal manipulation and lies and slander and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, possibly. Um, but you know the truth and you're about to be very loyal. And you, um, to this person is what I'm feeling. And you're about to help them get the financial compensation they deserve. So um, that's beautiful, Capricorn. Um, I'm pulling in a lot of high vibrational Capricorn energy if this resonates for you. Now, however you're going to help them get this financial compensation, to me, that could go a million different ways. Um, a million different actions one could take to do that. So you plug it in how it resonates. Jug, lighthearted, carefree time. 
this could be the vacation energy for some of you guys. Um, just saying. A particular, a particular Capricorn is about to go to a comedy show soon. Many shocking series of chain of events are going to occur at this comedy show. Many. It's going to shock the hell out of you. Someone will take their shirt off in one of these situations. Wow, what? People disrobing at comedy shows? Okay. Holy crap, man. So you plug it in how it resonates. I mean, I don't judge anybody. If they're going to go topless, I mean, let the babies fly if they want to let the babies fly. But, wow, I, okay. <laughs> How that resonates. So, um, if this resonates with you, Caps, I heard you're about to go to a, co uh, a comedy show soon. So, whoever you are, you enjoy comedy. I don't feel you're the comedian in this situation. I feel you are a purveyor of this comedy show. So, you're about to be a audience member is what I'm feeling. Um but I heard many shocking series of chain of events are going to occur at this comedy show. It's going to shock the hell out of you. And in one of you, one of you guys' situations, somebody's going to take their shirt off and it's going to shock the hell out of you. Um, I don't know. What what comedy show is this? Let me know. I'm just saying, if you want to, holy crap. So lighthearted, carefree time. So lighthearted and carefree, somebody's going to feel the need to take their shirt off at this comedy show. I mean, holy crap. So you're going to relax. You're going to have carefree time. You're going to go to this comedy show. I love comedy shows. Um, good for you. And someone is about to visit a bar soon. There will be a bar fight. Whoa. And someone's about to visit a bar soon. There will be a bar fight. That's not lighthearted carefree time. But I think you're going to this bar for lighthearted carefree time is what I think. I think you're going to this bar for lighthearted, carefree time, and there's going to be a bar fight. Um, whoever this is for, hopefully you're not part of the bar fight. For some, you could be. For some, I feel for a lot of you guys, you're not. I think you're going to enjoy yourself at this bar. You might meet friends. You might meet coworkers. You might you just go to have just one after work, for all we know. Um, but there's going to be some kind of bar fight. Um, hopefully, you're not involved with it. But I think that's the think on your feet energy as well. You're going to have to think quick. Um, whether you're getting drugged into this bar brawl or you are just viewing this bar brawl as a third party on the side energy. Um, I think you're going to have to think on your feet. Oh my goodness. Somebody needs to be careful. Maybe you're going to be the one to call the police on this bar fight. I mean, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. So you have to plug yourself in these situations how you see it. Shadow. I think this goes for that logo rational Capricorn that has started um, a tarot card reading business. I feel for money. I didn't hear for money, but I think I think it's for money. And I'm serious about that. I think they're in their shadow self side. Um, and that's why they're not making money. And I'm serious about that. A particular Capricorn masculine is about to end up in jail soon. One is already in jail. Exploitation of women. One works for a modeling contracting agency. One is a manager. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Wow. So if this resonates for you, um, there's, a, I mean, hopefully it's not you. Maybe it's two Capricorns you're connected to. is two Capricorn masculine energies. Uh, one of them works for a modeling contracting agency, I heard, and one is a manager. So a manager of something in some shape, form, or fashion in somebody's community is what I'm feeling. You can be a manager of anything. Um, I mean, whoever this person is. I didn't hear specifically what they're a manager of, but um, one of them is already in jail, it sounds like, and one's about to end up in jail for exploitation of women. So shadow in this situation is they have participated in their shadow side. Dark web energy. Dark web energy. So they have participated in exploitation of women through dark web energy. They have um, incorporated their shadow side. And I feel getting camera energy and voyeur camera energy here. And I'm serious about that. 
um, that's sick and nasty. It really is. Um, and I picked up on this kind of crap before in my readings. Um, whoever this, and I, there was a reading I did on a Capricorn that was about to go to jail. The feds were about to get them. Um, they were a manager, actually. Um, so it might be, I think it's one of these people, but there's another one, uh, Capricorn, that works at a modeling contracting agency. I haven't picked up on that person before. And that's masculine energy too. So you plug it in how it resonates, but shadow side energy strong here. They um, illegally voyeuring women and making money off them behind their back with dark web energy. That is so sick, man. One is already in jail. One is about to go to jail. I heard. And another particular Capricorn feminine energy that has been secretly prostituting is about to be shot and about to be arrested. Arrested. Oh, and another um, uh, Capricorn fan that's been secretly prostituting, I heard, is about to be shot and they're about to be arrested. So they're in their shadow side by prostituting themselves. I'm assuming they don't live in a, a place that where it's legal. Because like in the, I live in the United States, but um, the only place where it's legal to my knowledge, where prostitution is legal, is like, um, I think it's Reno, Nevada. It's where the Bunny Ranch is. I think that's Reno, Nevada. Um, wherever the Bunny Ranch is, um, it's legal. Um, but everywhere else in the United States, to my knowledge, it's not legal. I know it's not legal in the state of Alabama, I'll tell you that. So they're acting on their shadow side, um, and they're about to be arrested. So where, wherever they're prostituting it is not legal, I'll tell you that. It's not the Bunny Ranch. So you plug it in how it resonates. But they're acting in their shadow side and knowingly prostituting illegally basically i heard it's about to shock them that they're about to be arrested so it's a very low vibrational capricorn fem whoever that is intensification this could be the jail energy uh for this capricorn fem that's about to be shocked they're about to be arrested it could be the intensification energy for the capricorn masculine about to be arrested for some kind of dark web warrior um exploitation of women energy intensification for the one already in jail it could be intensification of, uh, in a positive way as well, maybe that person taking their shirt off at the comedy show. Um, because a lot of this hasn't happened yet, it sounds like, from the spiritual downloads. A lot of it hasn't happened. Some has, but a lot has not happened. So, to me, I feel the intensification could go in a positive way or a negative way. You plug it in how it resonates. Someone is about to leave someone at a wedding soon, uh, at the altar. It is about to shock the hell out of you. Whoa, holy crap. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God. So if this resonates, and this hasn't happened yet either. So you plug it in, how it resonates. If this resonates for you, you're about to go to a wedding, whether you're masculine or feminine. You're about to go to a wedding. And I heard... It doesn't sound like you are going to be the one that left is going to be left at the altar. At least, God, I hope not. And you're not the one leaving somebody at the altar. I think you might be a member of the wedding party um, or a participant in the um, in the um, seating arrangements to watch the wedding. How that resonates. But um, I heard someone, it sounds like you're about to go to a wedding soon. And someone is going to, you're going to witness someone leaving someone at the altar it reminds me of like runaway bride energy if anybody's seen that movie with julia roberts it reminds me of Ju um the julia roberts movie um i think it's richard gear in there with her runaway bride that's what it reminds me of somebody's going to leave somebody at the altar her just going to shock the hell out of you so i don't think it's you going to leave somebody at the altar i feel you're either a wedding party member or a person in the seating arrangements watching the wedding or you are actually the bride or the groom that's going to get left so in, intensification uh yeah intensification because shit's about to hit the fan um because it's like runaway bride energy holy crap man whoa let me see if i hear anything else Our pregnancy is about to become very significant in Capricorn's life. 
For some, it is triplets. For some, it is twins. For some, it is a single pregnancy. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Wow, this is 30 minutes. I'm sorry so long. Okay, so for some of you guys, it's a single pregnancy about to become significant in your life. For some, it's twins, so two fetuses about to become uh, pregnancies, uh, two gestated um, embryos in there about to become significant. Some is triplets, so three. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Um, I feel it could be you pregnant or you could have impregnated somebody or you could just be connected to somebody that is about to be, find out they're about to be pregnant with either a singular child, um, two or three. How would that resonate? Holy moly, moly, moly. Holy crap. Okay, well, we're done. I hope this helped. I love you guys so very much, and namaste.